Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and find your mod. You can, of course, use Pro Wrestling Mods. This is the most popular one. But then you could also use CC Mods, which basically has most of the mods that Pro Wrestling Mods has. But, you know, CC Mods has some exclusive ones, uh, like a lot of Bronx BX's stuff. Definitely recommend this one. Go ahead and view it. But yeah, you're gonna, for me, I'm going to go ahead and use some GFX here on CC Mods. But what you're going to want to do is make your way to over to Superstar GFX. And you're going to go ahead and choose some GFX uh, out of your choosing. So me personally, I think we're going to go with this Maki Ito one by Shogoth. And you are going to scroll down to the download link and go ahead and download it. Should redirect you to the folder download. And then you're going to download all as a zip. Or, you know, whatever. And then just download your mod. Alright, now that you've gone ahead and downloaded your GFX mod, now we're going to go ahead and start putting the files into the game. So... Of course, make your way over to your WWE 2K22 directory where you have all your mod folders. Just a little quick note, not all your mods need to be baked into one folder. You can split them up into different ones because you have 12 different uh, custom CAC files that you could work with. So definitely split up your mods. You could do it exactly like how I do, but you don't need to. You could do it your own custom way. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install these on my test CACs because this is the one that I'm currently using. And if you don't have a movies folder, most of the time they will come with one. This one doesn't. But if you don't have one, then make movies and then SS and Titantron. This one already comes with it. So in your SS, you're going to go ahead and put in this file that has the ID. As you can see, it says Oni Lorcan and then it has the ID. So if you're going to replace someone else's and you don't like who this one replaces, all you would need to change is the ID and then the name. Uh, which you can match by looking in cake tools or you could use uh, the character thing to locate them in the cake tools. Uh, just make sure that you name it exactly how it is uh, in cake tools and it should work. So this one should come with these files and you're just going to go ahead and grab this ID file and you're just going to drop it in here. And then in your Titantron folder, you're going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's go with no intro and you're going to grab this one. Now again, if you want to replace this one, all you need to change is the 745 to match the ID of the other person you want to replace. Drag that into here. Go into Cake Tools, go to File, Bake a Folder, in this case Test 8, and I'm going to bake it into 8, and boom, there you go. Now you give that some time. Alright, now that you've baked your mod into the game, for purposes of this video, I'm just going to show it by going into Entrance, and going to Oni Lorcan. But normally you'd want to test it out either like this or by viewing it in a match. But this is just a faster way to test it for the video's sake. And boom, just like that. There you go. You have your own custom uh, modded in GFX. I actually really like how this one looks. Holy shit. Good shit from Shogoth. Be sure to get this one. Of course, everything will be linked in the description. The latest version of Cake Tools. And so will the CC Mods website. And then also this uh, GFX mod link will be listed in the description below on CC Mods if you want to go ahead and grab it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did go on to enjoy the video, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe for some more modding tutorials. I got some good ones coming out soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.